All right, what's going on, everyone? Uh, today, I'm going to be checking out Mugello because it's been out for you know, a few days now at this point, and I haven't seen really any videos on it. I haven't seen any, actually, but I haven't looked too hard. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and hop in, buy the track, and just check it out and see what I think. Um, it's been probably about a week since I've been on the, the sim. I was really sick last Sunday, Monday, recording this is the following Saturday. Um, and then Tuesday, Wednesday was still getting better and, you know, having to get caught up on family stuff and holiday time. It's just been really busy. So I wasn't going to force myself to get on and race when I had other things I needed to get done. So, but we're going to hop in this morning. It's like 7 a.m. for me. Had a little extra time before I get the day going. So I figured I'd hop in, check out Magello. We'll do a few cars around it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, one new thing that's kind of cool, I got the uh, the new quick release, or not the newer, but it's the more like, I don't know what you call it. It's the more traditional style quick release from Fantech. This is the QR1, not the QR2. Um, I know people say this one has a lot of flex. I don't really know why i don't i haven't felt any flex so far but um i got one of these for each wheel but only one is here that's a long story for maybe another time but um we're gonna go ahead and get the iRacing updated and we'll bring you guys back in all right we've got iRacing updated we have mugello um uploaded we got the sim started at least uh just reading this thing right here off tracks i think we know about that so let's see can we explore the track maybe not maybe we gotta actually hop in the car we'll do that real quick there we go Just pull forward a little bit and stop. It should allow us to look around the track real quick. There we go. Perfect. Bam. So I'll just go to the free cam here. This is the very long front straightaway. Oof. Let's find a better camera. A chopper or something. Blimp. There we go. So that's a really long front straightaway. Kind of goes uphill. It's uphill right hander. I remember this track. I raced it in Forza Motorsports like four or five or three. I remember, but I really enjoyed it there. Um, looks pretty good. Looking around. This isn't Italy. You can see the Italian flag colors all around the track, the curbs and the grandstands. Um, yeah, pretty neat. Pretty good looking track. I'm sure Dale Jr. and Steve Myers are somewhere around here, but I'm not going to go look at them. Maybe one day we'll do a video looking for them at all the tracks. So mm -hmm. the tunnel over there. It looks like the track entrance. And oh, that's an interesting a tunnel right there it goes somewhere. We go building. But yeah. Nice looking track. The uh, the graphic updates. I don't know if I have my graphics optimized after the update, but looking pretty good. Old abandoned building, maybe over there. My trees and grass aren't too great, but kind of a uh, quick overview. Let's see. I can bring this out a lot for you guys. There we go. There's the overall look of the track. Got a little go-kart track there in the middle. A lot of cool stuff. So I think it's a good layout. We're going to go uh, hop in, do some laps, and we'll see what it's like.
Alright, so we're running the Ferrari 296 GT3 because one, this is an Italian track, and two, gonna be running this car in series next year full time, hopefully. And I believe this is the first track on that schedule. So, it's a way to get some practice. Also got a new paint scheme for this car. I think it's on. Actually, it's probably not because I don't have uh, trading paints on at the moment. trying to dig deep into the archives of my memory to remember what little I can about this track from Forza Motorsports which is not even close to the realism of iRacing but it's all I have to go off of at the moment oh that'll be a fun section once I can figure it out Corner really tightens up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good run straight away. Chance for some drafting. Get some good passes going into turn one here. Oh, we're going to overshoot it. help if I knew how to drive this car too. Alright, we're gonna do a good one finally. Break it this blue cone. Or I guess the line on the track, whichever you prefer. We'll come out wide, arc it in. Spot our entry. Watch out for those curbs on that right hander. just before the 50 it turned in nicely very solid we need down ship going off nope we're okay little lift all the track Oh, that's a cut. Okay. Good to know. Hard on the brakes. We're so slow we can clear the slowdown without even trying. Fly it out through here. All the racetrack. Break at the last orange marker. Let it roll. Try to get back to the gas. Not a terrible lap. Pretty terrible, actually.
It was our fastest, though. So that's cool. Stay out wider. The initial entry to that corner. Get the cutting again. get back to the gas a lot sooner there. All right, not terrible. Let's uh, let's go try a race. All right, we got the paint scheme all loaded up here. Um, we're in the practice session before the race going up here in just a couple minutes. So that's what we got going on. I don't know why these logos are really pixelated, but is what it is this blue is supposed to have kind of like a brush matte kind of satin to it i guess you would call it um it's not just plain blue it should have a little bit of like a, a metallic flake to it can't really tell in the sun but it's all good still like the way it came out it looks pretty good overall and then you can see i got um Carbon fiber kind of accented in there. And then the white's just a plain white to kind of set it off. This is an ode to uh RC car paint scheme I ran when I was doing that. Before I started sim racing, I did RC cars and that was a it was fun but extremely expensive and time consuming and this is a lot easier and more fun really for me to do. So yeah, and if you want to run a paint scheme or this paint scheme, I have it up on Trading Paints. It's not the exact same. It doesn't have the Daytona Dead up front. It doesn't have Groberg Chan Endurance Racing Team on the uh, banner. It just says Ferrari. And then I believe the other change is instead of all these logos, it has a Fanatec logo up here. So that's something you're interested in. Just find me on Trading Paints. Pretty sure it's Daytona Dead on Trading Paints. You should be able to find me. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and... Get into the race, bring you guys back in when we get started. All right, we're almost through the full pace lap that they made us do here. Getting ready to come to the green, make sure my recording is looking good. Looks like we are. Foot cam is back. Didn't run the foot cam on the initial like laps just so you guys could see more of the track. I don't know. I guess the foot cam didn't take up that much space, but I just felt it was important when we were looking at the actual track itself. I do want to say, uh, kind of off, talk, off topic of the video, the uh, QR1 quick release I got here on this wheel, far and away better than the CSL quick release, the like plastic one that you kind of have to screw on. I mean, it gets the job done, but this one right here, this metal one, way better. Oh, and we're checking up. The wheel used to like really creak and there was a little flex. Now there's hardly no, hardly any at all. It's all in my cockpit mounting. This GT Omega Art cockpit's not made for this, but it's more like a Logitech entry level stuff. Alright, here we go. Good luck, everyone. 
See if we can survive. It's week 13. We're going to go hard. The track temp is 190. The air temp is 77 Fahrenheit. Okay, Dale. Stay calm. Focus. Caught that guy sleeping. That guy there might have a black flag. Left. McLaren or whatever it was. And dive inside here. No one loop in it. Clear on the left side. You know, Audi, there's a lot of those out here. But watch out for those curbs on that right hander. Right side. The right side's clear. Watch your right side. Clear on the right side. Stars. All right. Survive this initial start. A bit aerotype behind all these cars. Not sure where we're sitting as far as position wise, but it's not terrible. Went a little too hard into that corner. Alright, feeling pretty good. That was a fairly clean first lap. I think we only saw one car die in turn one, so looks like we're in ninth. Take it. P8, okay. Careful not to hit those curbs. That is a death sentence. Man, that Ferrari behind us caught up real fast. He is flying. I don't think this is open setup, but I did not look. I would imagine it's just fixed. Got a car on your left side. Oh, buddy. Left side <laughs> oh, my God. Still there. Oh, the man. I didn't really mean to dive it in on the guy when he was getting all sideways, but. Come on, mate. Defend your position. There's a car on your right. Woo. Hold your line. Man, that sequence was insane. Right I got us clear. all out of whack right there. I did not mean to get up on that guy when he was getting sideways. And then, man, I was in first gear when I thought I was in second. Total a mess. But we're rolling. It's still alive. Alright, fair enough, Alpine. Fair enough, Alpine car. Still alive. Three minutes down, 12 to go. Almost 11. Whew. That was a fun exchange. Oh, Porsche big over the curb right there. And we get on the curb big time. Save it. Now Ferrari's gonna get in the dirt. Go back by him. See if we can pull away from that guy. Let's 
Tires feel like they're up to temp now. Still don't really know how to drive this car, man. The understeer it has is insane to me. Driving mostly the Mercedes anytime I've ever driven a uh, GT3 car. I bet this track's a hoot in the dang GT3 or GT3. GTP cars, man. All that downforce, probably the same. Slide. Bad angle, but we'll take it. We're catching a bit of a gaggle up here. You didn't hear what he said. Slightly faster, but we're still losing these guys a little bit. Let's see if we get into the 150s. Porsche went around, unfortunate. Uh, guys, don't break in the middle of the corner, please. This Ferrari, you kind of have to, though, to get it to rotate sometimes. You gotta do like a double tap on the brake. <laughs> don't brake in the middle of the corners. That slowing down thing you do for corners, don't do that. You should be pinned the entire time. That should move us up to 7th. We're feeling a little more comfortable with the car. Almost too comfortable. Working the pedals. Good run out that corner. We might be able to snip a draft. Probably not, though. We're over a second behind. Dale, 
Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Done our last five minutes. That was our first X. Not too bad. We can see the fifth in front of us there. It's at the front of this three car group. But we are blowing it right now. We can maybe get two laps left coming to the line this time. Yeah, probably two more laps. <coughs> Excuse me. Push, push, push. We're gonna get this guy. Got a BMW and a Ferrari. Driving really hard in front of us. We ourselves are driving pretty hard. And BMW is pushing very hard. Good set of corners right there. by Michael Colby. Look like I'm not getting in that corner hard enough. They pulled away on me on entry. Two more laps from here. Yep, two more laps from here. Okay. We're about the same speed as these cars in front of us. Not a whole lot we can do about it right now. Shifted a little too early, but I wanted to make sure we didn't get any wheel spin. That guy got a slowdown or almost wrecked or what, but. Probably oh, yeah. Okay, Dale, the next car is. Hard to say.
White flag, here we go. Do these three survive in front of us? Man, that is intense up there. Okay, Dale, you've got half your fuel left. BMW is going around. It's going to stay over there. That gives us a spot. Unfortunate, man. He was driving hard. We absolutely nailed that corner that time through. Oh my gosh. That felt amazing. Woo. Another BMW in front of this Ferrari. Do they take each other out and give us the top five? He's sending it in on them. They're going up the track. They're going to be side by side to the line. I think, the, oh man, I think that was the Ferrari. It was the Ferrari. What a fun one. That was that was some good racing. That's a it's quite the track right there, man. That was that was a lot of fun. Started to kind of figure out how to drive it towards the end. Let's just uh, stop right here. Whew. That was cool. But that's gonna do it for me. Thank you all for watching this uh not so brief a look at Mugello with the Ferrari 296 GT3. I do not have the uh, Audi, um, whatever it is, RMS Evo GT3 car. Uh, but that was a lot of fun. Looking forward to doing some more racing there. Looking forward to racing that series as well, the Ferrari uh, GT3 Challenge Series. So thank you all for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Dad out.